One thing I wanted to show you real quick are some of the kind of sketchy emails that I've gotten. So we have this dude here. His name is Jim McCrudden. He is uh, your good old cyber coder recruiter, pretty much. You can see here 140K plus for the job. But when I click on it, you can see if I scroll down a little bit, 110 to 130K. So number one, unless this was a typo, which I highly doubt because you got to think of these people as salespeople. He's just doing this to get me to click it, which is almost lying. And I really doubt someone will notice the difference between 140K plus when it's already capped at 100 110 and 130k here this is all this is all the same job it says senior front-end developer senior front-end blah 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 dot net and he's changing he's changing the requirements of these subject emails to get me to click it's clickbait it's spammy clickbait he started off with with uh it's a candidate's market and i didn't answer and then he he messaged me with oh 100k to 120k plus and then it doesn't hurt to look for a new role. I'm pretty sure that these people from cyber coders don't even like, they don't even do anything except they just like pick a drop down list of like different subjects in their email, whatever. And then again, he baits me here. 100 to 120 didn't respond. Close to your house, let's chat. Okay, you're just putting that. He didn't actually look it up because when I called him, I did eventually call him at the, like this top one. He was like, yeah, so uh, where do you live? And I'm like, bro, you tell me, you're the one that said it's close to my house. What are you talking about? And then again, I didn't answer. And then here he ups it to 110 to 130. This is all the same job, but he was just changing the titles and the subjects to get me to click. I didn't do anything until 140. And then I, and I, and I sorted these and I went back through and I started looking and I was like, this seems a little bit sketch. Just changing the titles to see what I'll click on so he can start a conversation with me. It's just real interesting the way that it, it works with recruiters. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to another video where I wear a shirt that really brings out my eyes. Thank you for noticing guys, I appreciate you. In today's video, we're gonna talk about recruiters and what I think about recruiters and how to work with recruiters. The question gets asked a lot. How do you work with recruiters? Do you think they're worth it? Do I think they're worth it personally? No, not really. Not unless you do it right. You gotta, you gotta work with recruiters, but when you do that, you gotta look out for yourself first. One of the common things that happens when you work with recruiters is they always ask you, are you working with any other recruiting companies right now? And the reason that they ask you this is because they want to be priority number one for you. It's kind of like a race. Um, one job will put out a posting to a bunch of different recruiting companies and whoever can get that person in first gets paid first. That's kind of how it works. So the answer, never say yes, I'm working with other recruiters because you're going to be put at the bottom of the, of the priority list. They want someone who's going to be in a committed, dedicated relationship with that recruiter until they get a job. So basically like they want you to not work with anyone else, just because they want you to take any job offer they throw at you pretty much. It'll start off with something that you like and that funding will get pulled from that job and they'll throw you something else and they'll throw you something else and like those are your only options because you're only working with that one recruiter. You gotta work with multiple recruiters. You always gotta say, no, I'm not working with anyone else but then be dating other people pretty much. That's kinda like, you got you, you can't hate the player, you gotta hate the game. It's like when you're on Tinder, you got like six different girls, six different guys but they don't need to know about each other and that's just how it works. You gotta find the one that fits best with you. And I'm sorry out there for recruiters that watch this but that's that's, you got to see it from our point of view. That's that's just what you got to do. You always got to be maximizing your potential to, to be getting the job that best fits you. I'll tell you a little story about what I had with recruiters is I had like six different recruiters email me for one job posting and I just went with one of them and I dropped the rest of them even though it was for the same job and they took me out to lunch and they, they told me they had the next interview lined up and blah 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 but they wouldn't tell me the company name. They refused to tell me the company name. They're like, oh, don't worry, it's real close to you. It's like 20 minutes away. Finally, they eventually they told me the company name at like the last second, the day before I had to go to that company, do the interview and it was like an hour and a half away and I was like, are you kidding me? You know that I would have done this but you know that I'm so close to the job that I want the job and that I need the money so I'm probably willing to do it but another job offer came in the next day so I, like I basically dropped it and got a free lunch out of it so kind of like tender again I guess if it doesn't if you're not vibing with the person you're on the date with but anyways sedating with Josh I guess you have to understand but let me explain how recruiters work most of the time recruiters come to you and they place you into a company, but that company doesn't hire you directly. They hire the recruiting firm. You're working at that company technically, but you're working for the recruiting firm. So the recruiting firm is going to charge the company that you're at like 100,000 a year, and they're going to pay you 75,000. So they're scraping 25,000 right off the top of your salary. Companies know this, but companies also wanna have this try before you buy type of mentality. And I, I think companies that do that are pretty shitty, to be honest. Like, well, we wanna, we wanna test drive them first for like six months before if we think he's a good fit, or or what, what has happened to other people that I know is that work six months and it's contract to hire. You're working for the recruiting company for six months and then hopefully 
that company always like pulls you on at the end. So what you should ask, if this is a contract to hire position, what is the conversion rate? And conversion rate, I mean like, like what is the chances of me being brought on full time and still having a job after after this contract? And they're like, oh yeah, normally it's pretty high. You want like a percentage, get like a dedicated percentage of how many people they place that convert into a full time employee. You gotta understand that companies know that they're being overcharged during the contract to hire phase and it's cheaper to hire you directly. And so what I would recommend if you wanted to skip recruiters, which is what you should try to do and not kind of be like pimped out by the recruiter to a company pretty much is to get the company name from the recruiter. Like pretend like you're super interested. Be like, yep, super interested. Yep, really interested. Want to do this. Yeah, what's the company name? Let me, yeah, I'm going to start researching. So I ace the interview and then you take the company name, you ghost the recruiter and you just go directly to the company because it's cheaper for them to hire you directly. So companies will, will, will put out a job posting. They'll send it out to like 13 different recruiting firms. They'll all be competing for that one spot, but they'll also have that hire open directly. And so it's whoever can fill that spot first. But trust me, if you're going direct hire, direct to the company, they're probably gonna hire you that way because you're a lot cheaper than having to pay a whole lot more to a recruiting company just to test you out for like six months, especially if you're like a cool candidate, right? If you're doing the research, you're doing all the things that you should be doing when you're applying to a job. I've had recruiters that I've worked with and I've, I've, I've done the interviews, the fourth, fifth, sixth interview, and then at the last second, I get ghosted by the interview. So maybe it seems like I'm salty, but I've been ghosted well, I was like, am I getting a job? I've done like six interviews now. Like what's happening? And they ghosted me because they found a better candidate. Well, uh, a candidate that matched the job posting that was more experienced, that was willing to work for what the recruiting company. So like the recruiting company is like, oh, we'll pay you like, uh, you know, $80,000 and blah, 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 blah. And person had a better chance of getting hired with that company. And the recruiters know the more money they can charge the company, the more money they get. So why are they gonna why are they gonna push so hard for someone who can only they can only charge the company 100k for when for that same job posting they could get someone that they could charge 125k for and i know this depends on the budget but basically the more money that the recruiting firm can charge the company the more money that the recruiter can scrape off the top of your salary which i think is kind of dumb and so you'll be dropped at the last second all the time by recruiters by candidates that they know that they could like place in there a lot quicker and get their money faster because recruiters make money at the rate that they can hire people pretty much and so that's why they're so pushy and they'll send you the same job posting like 10 times and they'll be like hey 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 and they just throw anything at the wall it's like taking wet spaghetti noodles and just flinging it at the wall throwing it and seeing what sticks and see what they can get and see what they can push and i'm sure you guys have gotten recruiting emails i don't even know this language what i don't have nine years experience what why are you emailing me it's because they throw everything they just throw everything at the wall and they just want to see what they can get and then as long as they can start a conversation with you they can be like oh well we do have other positions open that that may be you know a better fit for you and then they'll push you there they just want to have contact with someone so they'll send you something outrageous with some uh, number and they know that you might not be a fit for this job but they just want to start the conversation with you so that they could see if they could place you for another job that you might be a better fit for and then if you're say if you're going to say yes then they'll try to push you over there so that, again they can make money at the rate it's kind of like car salesmen except they're not selling cars they're selling people they're pimping you out to companies pretty much and for the next six months they just scrape off the top of your salary sounds like a really good deal and at the end you just hope you just hope and pray that the company converts you and they and they offer you a full-time thing but they don't have to because it's contract there are recruiting companies that do direct hire but i those are usually kind of few and far between the way that works is like you'll go and you'll get directly hired by the company and the company will just pay a lump sum to the recruiter and then boom you're hired um, this happens when companies don't have like the manpower to sort through or do the hiring process or they're like pushing for a deadline or something and they just, they just don't have the time to manage this and they don't want to handle it like they have a hiring manager usually like some guy is hiring for the position but the recruiters are like oh i can get you direct to the hiring manager and so what i would recommend would be to finesse the recruiter and be like oh could i get his email i want to research him look him up on linkedin so i can ace the interview like always be like i want to research so i can look him up but just like finesse go around the recruiter if you can and just move in for yourself just secure the bag for yourself i'm sorry if that seems unethical i'm sorry if you're a recruiter and you're hearing me tell people to do this i'm gonna look out for me first i can't help anybody else until i help myself first and unfortunately like look i know you want your money but i want my money too and there's a lot more other people you could target and i'm just one individual so the people that watch this video just go around the recruiter if you can so you just want to be like ace ventura pet detective over here and just pick up little bits and pieces about the company anything that you can get from the recruiter about the company you want to get them to reveal it to you asap so you can just go around and go direct because you're cheaper shown initiative and that of course the company is probably going to want to hire you over a bunch of other recruiting candidates i've had this one recruiting experience where you guys have seen those movies where people are walking down the hallway and you're like 
you know, there's like everyone is there for the same job and they're all like leaned up against the wall with their briefcase on like their little, on their lap or whatever. And that was how it was, except there were like four different recruiting companies and five people each representing those recruiting companies all competing for like three job openings at one company. We just had to take turns to go. It was, it was like a smorgasbord of like candidates and they just, like the company just had their pick and I was like, this is the most unprofessional BS I've ever experienced in my entire life and I never wanna have to do this again. To have us all sitting in a room looking at each other, all knowing that we're competing for the same job, it's just kind of like, really, really? All the other recruiters are pushing the other recruiters away, trying to be better. All the people representing the recruiting companies, they had all their like car salesman outfits on and they were like, yes, our recruiting company has the best candidates and the other, no, ours has the best candidates. And it was just really like, we're all here for a job and I interviewed and apparently I was in the top three candidates and I was set to be hired three days and then the next day the first two got hired but I didn't get hired and the company's like yeah no I think we're good with these two we're just gonna pull funding but we didn't find that out for the next three weeks the sales guy for the recruiting company that I was I guess representing went to the job every day and he was like bringing them donuts and he was bringing them flowers he's like hey so you're gonna hire any more of our people are you gonna hire uh, when, you know, we have a few more candidates here that was really cheesy salesmen that go in and, and try to like get their people hired and, and the company's like, look, dude, we know that you're gonna charge us 200,000 when we could just pay this dude directly like 80,000. We got two people already. That's enough money for us. We don't really care. Get out. And then the CEO went on vacation. Recruiters just make you jump through these hoops over and over and over and over. And then hopefully it works out and hopefully it doesn't. It just depends on the ethics of your recruiter. They make commission. They they make money at the rate that they can place people. And so the faster they can place people, it doesn't matter where. They'll throw you at jobs you're not qualified for. They'll try and convince you that this job is amazing. And you go on Glassdoor and you look it up and the job sucks. And, you know, then you're like, oh, well, this is why they're hiring because everyone quits. Tell you everything that appeals to you. I want to work remote. And they're like, oh, that's cool. We have a job that's, uh, you know, flexible schedule and I'm like well yeah but can I be like at home and do this and they're like well sorry it's not remote I'm like okay well then I don't want to what but it's flexible I'm like bro did you not hear me I don't want to do this if it's not remote like I don't want to drive an hour and a half well it's only you know it's 45 minutes if you leave early I'm like you're missing the point and so they'll just try to convince you to take jobs that you don't even like in my opinion it, it makes me ask two questions like what are the ethics of this person and then is this company even worth working for if they don't want to take the time out of their day unless there's a good reason to interview candidates for their own company just like yeah just give us some people we don't care who and let's just get the job done which makes me think that when I do get the job at the end of it am I still gonna have a job do you do you really care about me why don't you spend the time to like get to know me first and decide if I'm a good culture fit for just like throwing money at the problem and I don't want to be a problem you know sorry if you're a recruiter out there watching sorry I shouldn't be telling people to like say you know yes I'm only working with you but work with 13 other people and sorry for looking out for myself first except I'm not really so maybe it seems like I'm really salty and I've just had bad experiences with recruiters and that's because you're right and I have and I am and you know I'm out for me there's a sucker born every minute on LinkedIn for people that are coming into this industry and it sucks to be those people and I hope those people see this video but you and I both know recruiter people that you can spam messages and all these boot camps and all these grads coming in you're trying to take advantage of and so like look i'm not gonna fall for it and whoever watches this video please don't fall for it but you can go target those other new people that don't know any better yet but still shame on you for being a dick hope it provided some value hope it gave you some insight into working recruiters just realize they're out for themselves and you do the same they're playing a game so you play the game